Foreign aircraft manufacturers will be submitting lengthy proposals spanning thousands of pages in response to the 114 MRFA request for proposal by end of this year, that will require extensive checking and verification, that could result in significant delays. To address this issue, the Indian Air Force will establish strict technical requirements in the request for proposal like 75% transfer of technology, that will be aimed at eliminating fighter jets that fail to meet the technical specifications, and only the aircraft meeting the specified criteria will move forward in the selection process, so that the evaluation and vetting process can be fast-tracked. According to a media report, the F-414 transfer of technology agreement covers 11 critical areas, but certain crucial aspects such as the metallurgical composition of turbine blades might not be included in the F-414 transfer of technology agreement. The metallurgical composition of turbine blades is a critical aspect that directly impacts the engine's performance efficiency and longevity. The absence of metallurgical composition detail raises concerns about India's ability to fully leverage the transfer of technology to develop its own indigenous engine. The Tejas Mark 1A test bed aircraft has already been integrated with a formidable arsenal of air-to-air -air missiles including the Russian R-73 Israeli Python 5 and I-Derby, and the test bed is set to undergo weapons system trials later this year to evaluate the performance of advanced air-to-air -air missiles including the ASRAM and Astra Mark 1. India will also equip the Tejas Mark 1A with the Astra Mark 2 and the Meteor missile in the near future. Following the retirement of its MiG-21 Bison, the Srinagar-based No. 51 Squadron is all set to commence the induction of the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet. The Tejas Mark 1A aircraft will start delivery from February 2024, and the Air Force aims to take delivery of at least six aircraft by 2025, which will pave the way for the establishment of the first Tejas Mark 1A squadron in Srinagar, while the second squadron will be based in Rajasthan. Building on the success of Philippine Navy's $375 million Brahmos order, the Philippine Army has now begun negotiations with India's BrahMos Corporation for the procurement of BrahMos supersonic anti-ship cruise missile, and it is expected that an order worth over $300 million will be placed later this year. India has offered a line of credit to meet Philippines' defense requirements, and the additional BrahMos procurement will strengthen Philippines' coastal defense capabilities. India is preparing to send a letter of request to the US government this week, outlining the specific requirements of all three services, thus initiating the process of purchasing 31 MQ-9B UAVs. Following the letter of request, the US will respond with a letter of offer and acceptance after undergoing a formal congressional notification process, that will pave the way for negotiations considering the price and terms offered to other countries. Amid the rapid expansion of Chinese naval presence in the Indian Ocean region, the Australian Air Force's P-8A long-range maritime patrol aircraft has landed at INS Rajli Naval Air Station, for conducting anti-submarine warfare exercise with Indian Navy's P-8A aircraft, to enhance interoperability and jointness in maritime operations. An India-UK electric propulsion technical workshop was organized in New Delhi yesterday to foster collaboration exchange knowledge and explore the exciting possibilities in the field of electric propulsion systems. The workshop served as a crucial platform for experts researchers and industry professionals from both countries to come together and engage in meaningful discussions on the development of electric propulsion for warships. Oh,